Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Slay the Spire. We're gonna try and get some Spire Slaying done here. Um, this is Dr. McMean, and I'm uploading a video because I can't actually get this game to work at the same time as any streaming apps, so um, we're going to just do it the old-fashioned way and upload some Slay the Spire videos. We're going to be going for A20 heart kills. I'm just going to kind of go for a little while until the video can't really take much more. We'll, we'll try and make them sort of happen in our video. And we'll start with the Ironclad. Had some success with the Ironclad lately, and I, I'd like to keep on that train. Um, transform a card could be pretty good. Seems like some little high variance, but I don't mind that. Disarm is not bad. Um, it'll be very useful against the heart. So I kind of like this path along here. We've got a couple of elite fights, one of which is optional, the other is also optional. We can we can get as many as three if we choose, uh, or we can stick with two or one or none. Um, I think I like this way so that we get an event. There's a lot of math in the Jawworm fight. There was a cool daily quiz that someone did, but generally I just try and take as little damage as possible in these first few hallway fights. I kill on this turn. He's got 29, and that's 12 plus 9, so 21. We can't quite get there. Strike or Clothesline. Both pretty reasonable. I think Disarm takes me towards Twin Strike. I like upgrading Bash here. Gives us some extra damage for that elite fight that we want to take. Um, chomp. And Chomp. Pretty easy last fight when they both just increase their strength on turn one. Here I like Pummel Strike okay. We don't have any strength gain yet, so Heavy Blade is not necessarily great. Hmm. So we can just kill the Spike Slime and take six fewer damage that way. We could do uh, Twin Strike and Strike to this slime, and then disarm this and only take 6 damage. That seems best. We could also just Strike there, but I like saving us some health. Pummel Strike first. We can just take no damage here. We've got plenty of damage cards in our deck, so we don't have to take a free damage when we don't need to, so we can just wait until that turn to kill him. Hmm. Perfected Strike has gone up in value since we got two of these, but we did transform one of our strikes at the beginning, so it's really only one better. And it's not a great card anyway. Sword Boomerang is okay, though. Just another damage card does as much damage as pommel strike mm. feel like uh, feel like it's pretty replaceable but I kind of want a little more damage for like gremlin knob so yeah we'll take a sword boomerang I'm not thrilled with it though Let's 
So we can't really kill any one of these. Uh, we've got 19 damage. I guess 23. We could kill one of the louses. One of the lice. Um, and that would save us 8 damage. I feel like that's better than just relying on Pummel Strike to... We can Pummel Strike just here anyway. So we could defend and take 11 rather than killing this and taking 8. And this seems much better. Sword Boomerang's pretty good because that lets us block a couple times here and still make sure that we well, more or less make sure that we proc both of their defense boosts so that we can have a decent chance of getting rid of them this turn or at least saving ourselves some damage and here and we'll just chomp block Mm, I really like Inflame. We've got some things that synergize with it. And we could upgrade it here and then take this Elite Fight. And then prepare for this Elite Fight. Or maybe we go ahead and do the Super Elite if we're feeling super strong. I think that's better than trying to take two Elite Fights in a row, basically. I like getting an upgrade. Feels pretty strong. Especially against Log of Um, I think our first turn is just that and bash. I don't think we need to do anything fancy. I don't think we need this strength potion either. I think three is enough. taking 18 here to do an extra 13 damage. Probably should have blocked there then. Yeah, definitely should have blocked a little bit more, but it's fine. But sure can, that's great, that's some free scaling. Uh, I don't know that we want another sword boomerang. It's 18 damage for one energy once we plan in flame. It's, it's, that's really strong. Yeah, we'll take one more. I'm bad mouthing it, but it's it's pretty it's pretty good. And we can remove a strike for that. Makes our deck better. Eat on the bone is really good. I think we want an event here. Uh, maybe one more. Yeah, okay. So that lets us rest here and fight an elite, maybe? Um, we know it's going to be gremlin knob or sentries. We're pretty okay against sentries, I guess. We don't really have any block cards, so we're... I guess we're better against Gremlin Knob than Sentries by a decent amount. Um, but we're not terrible against Sentries. We've we've got damage, and Inflame means we do reasonable things with Sword Boomerang. We've got a regen potion that we can chug at the start of the fight. Yeah, I like I like resting and fighting an elite. I do think we drink the regen potion here. I think it's just gonna be a long fight. Mm, it's pretty tough to make this matter. I kind of just like Twin Strike, Sword Boomerang, Defend. We could drink a Strength Potion here. I don't know. I don't feel like we need to. We 
do gain block if we play three attacks in a turn. But here we're just gonna throw down a little bit of defense and take some damage. Hmm. Kind of like seeing where Sword Boomerang goes first. Maybe it's still here. Yeah. I think just getting the sentries down as fast as possible is worth taking even more damage. Like, not all of our damage is targetable, so I feel like we should make use of the stuff that is. Here I want to see if we can get exactly one of them to hit them. Okay. Alright, well. Sword Boomerang is not a great card for kind of for that reason. It, you don't always get to choose where it strikes. It gets worse against multiple enemies. Okay. Right, we just get to kill. Finish off our regen potion, so we got maximum value out of it, which is great. Um, sometimes you just gotta block for five. Red Needle is a great card. Um, Demon Form feels pretty strong with all of our Sword Boomerangs and Twin Strike. Metallicize is also a great card, especially in conjunction with Thread and Needle. It starts to get pretty nutty pretty quickly in Ornamental Fan. So Metallicize is certainly a consideration. Um, I do like just having our scaling kind of taken care of for the rest of the run with the Demon Form. And, you know, maybe we pick up a limit break somewhere along the way. I like them both better than Rage here. The Rage is certainly not bad when we're playing with Ornamental Fan and Shuriken that encourage us to play multiple attacks in a turn. Um, I find that Metallicize just being a consistent 3 block is, is better than that. Um, we are really offense heavy. Maybe it is right to take Metallicize here. Surely not. Surely Demon Form is better with all these Sword Boomerangs. Mm. I guess having just picked up that we've already got a couple of things that give us block. I'll take the demon form. I don't I don't know how I feel about it though. It might be wrong. I do think it's a good upgrade also. Um I just think when when you're relying on it as you're scaling, making it get there faster is important, especially against the heart. Um I didn't actually have to block there. That was that was kind of bad. That's fine. Um, here, um, just take a few damage from the fungi. So here we can just kill them all. Um, I kind of like rage here. Smooths out our turns where we want to play a lot of attack cards for sure again and ornamental fan. 46 is definitely enough health for the guardian. Um, Grading rage seems okay. Let's 
start off with the demon form. Pretty good way to do this fight. We can just take some amount of damage from this hit. It's fine. We don't have to... Can we? If we... We're doing 9 damage 3 times... Plus 12? Is 27? No, we can't. Really do that, but we can... Block some... Sword Boomerang for a bit. I guess we could drink an energy potion there to get some value, maybe split him before this turn, but I'm not too concerned. We're just gonna hop. Save this for when it matters. It, it doesn't really matter how much health we lose. I mean, we, 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 I guess, preserve more for our heal after this boss if we don't take any damage, but it's not strictly necessary that we... Uh, we do want to go ahead and keep this plated armor if we can. It just makes the next... A little bit, uh, a little easier. Red Needle's pretty good. Um, here's where our strength gain has started to get nutty. We can just immediately chomp, put him back here. And just wait out this damage and another, you know, Twin Strike almost kills him. In fact, Twin Strike kills him. We can block his thorns and hop. Demon form is strong. Ooh, Fiendfire is better with demon form than either of these cards. But I like Immolate a lot, and we don't really have any reliable AoE. We've just got Sword Boomerang, which is kind of meh. I'm okay with Immolate. And maybe a Velvet Choker. We're not trying to play a ton of cards per turn, just like four to six. That seems about right for a Choker. Maybe we want to play more. Maybe we want Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is... I don't know. It's expensive. It means we don't get a lot of relics for the rest of the game, but Shuriken encourages us to play a lot of things, and I think that's strong enough. That plus ornament metal fan is strong enough that we go with Ectoplasm over Velvet Choker. I, I could see going Choker there for sure, but... I, I don't like bumping up against that limitation accidentally, which is how it feels like it happens a lot of the time. Um, yikes. Well, an elite fight no matter what we do. Shops lose value because we really basically only get one good one left. Hmm. Kind of like this way, with a, a few events leading up to a rest and then an elite fight that we've got to do. Um, but then later we can choose whether or not to take an elite fight, a super elite fight here, or a regular hallway fight, or a couple of regular hallway fights. I, I think this is a, a, an okay path. It's a little challenging, but I feel like we're fairly strong. Um, we're soft on block, for sure. We need some block cards. Fairly desperately. Try and kill the front guy first. He runs faster. Mm, light seems strong. Especially after a bash. And we take some damage. Seven. Ah. Uh... He's wanting to get out of there quickly. Um, yeah, I guess we could have done a little bit less damage and played a demon form, but... Well, looks like he's going to get away with some of our precious golds. Uh, and actually, they get away with all of it. We can't gain it back because it just gets eaten by ectoplasm. So, really, it didn't matter how much damage we dealt. 
We should have blocked more if we could have, but I don't think we could have. See? Ectoplasm eats it. Hmm. I don't like any of these cards currently. Body Slam is kind of okay, I guess. We just don't have a lot of good block cards. I don't know. Let's take Body Slam. Maybe it'll get us there. I do like spending 85 gold for a relic here. I think that's one of the few ways we're going to be able to spend gold and get a relic, so we should do it. That still leaves us with the ability to remove a curse from our deck if we need to. Mm, if we get a rest, we can take some damage to gain 5 max HP. This arm isn't great against this guy. But we might as well. Body Slam is one that we can prioritize upgrading. Hmm. Not getting a lot of defense. Yeah, we're really, we, we really, uh, I mean, I don't think we were offered a lot of block cards in Act 1, but we should have figured out maybe a way to get a few more. Maybe Metallicize was the right choice over Demon Form all along. Maybe that's what we learned. Just punch it till it dies. Okay, well, Shrug It Off is great. Although so is Iron Wave with our things. Shrug it off is three more block, and I kind of like being able to draw a card. Iron Wave works better with Rage. Um, hmm, it's pretty close. I kind of like Iron Wave. Let's do Iron Wave. We've already got a little bit of card draw. That's fine, it'll get us there. Um, uh, we're confused! No discount on Demon Form, huh? That's rude. That's fine. We can just block some damage. Um, can we kill it? Yes. Great. Great, great, great. Um, here I like uh, close line a decent amount, because we don't have any other way to make things weak. We don't have a lot of block cards, so it's kind of like a block card. I think I like it better than just a pommel strike. Maybe upgrade the clothesline, even. Upgrading body slam could be okay. Kind of like upgrading clothesline. Three weak is a lot better than two. Some minions. Um, let's just play a demon form and, um, not be able to kill it. Okay, so here's an option. We can drink both of these potions and kill off one of these guys. That seems actually pretty okay. Uh, that means that there's a chance that he'll just summon next turn rather than attacking for sure. He attacks for a lot of damage, so we don't want him to do that, if possible. Um, it also means that we only have one stack of Frail and Leak instead of two. The Leak doesn't kill by itself, because we are weak. Bummer. Let me just see where Sword of the Rain lands. Okay. Gain some strength. 
Maybe Shuriken is just enough strength scaling and the demon form was really superfluous. I don't know. Um, do we just want to try and play three attacks? Yeah, we can flame and then three attacks and get the block and just eat a bunch of damage. I guess that's all we can do. Okay, um... So we want to kill him shortly. Which we can do. Body slam. Body slam plus strength is fine. <laughs> we can get even more strength. Okay, well, I don't think we need a spot weakness here. Um, heavy blade plus seems strong, though. And... Maybe rest here and see if we can't take a run at this super elite. I kind of like that. Or we could just lift. Start off with a strength. And what if what would we upgrade if we did immolate? Probably that's a strong upgrade. Considerably more than one strength worth. Seven damage is a lot more. That would help us with slavers quite a bit. Yeah. Maybe we just do that. So we could bottle a f an attack. I kind of don't like that. I kind of like taking a key over that. I don't... No, I mean, maybe, like, Immolate is good enough to want in our starting hand every time, but I don't necessarily even want it before I've had Demon Form for a couple of turns, or played a Bash. Uh, so I think here is a good Sapphire Key pickup. We could buy a Metallicize Plus. Feels pretty good. Like the last thing we buy, we could also just remove a strike, which also feels okay. Hmm. We're just talking about how we need more block and stuff. Let's just do it. Ooh, choosing one of 20 cards to add to our deck is pretty strong. I like that. Um. An upgraded Berserk is not really where we want to be. Another Metallicize Plus, though. That could be great. Um, Second Wind is pretty good. Ghostly Armor is just a strong block card. But I kind of like another Metallicize Plus. Just having a lot of passive blocking seems really great for us. Vajra. Man, man we're just destined to have all kinds of strength. Yeah... Let's do it. Let's let's just get the Super Elite out of the way. I feel like we're strong. We've got the right kind of... We've got Immolate Plus, which is really good at beating these guys up. Or we might just die. That's, that's also entirely a possibility. Might have totally underestimated this fight. Or overestimated our deck. Uh, he's got 40 health. We can do 31, 40 damage. Yeah, that seems good. Okie dokie. Not easy, but we, we got there. 
Double tap is pretty good. Pretty good with heavy blade, pretty good with close line and immolate. Decent after a rage. It's pretty great if we upgrade it. Ooh, this is a tough fight. Nobody likes this fight. Nobody likes this fight. At least we have... Can't become frail. I think he makes us vulnerable, though. Yikes. Well, let's start by... kind of want to double tap this iron wave. Just not take damage this turn. Oh, it is frail. That's great. Turnip was a, a really good pickup then. Um, Talicize Demon Form. And just start scaling up a bunch to kill this guy in like a couple of turns. Clothesline, defend, maybe in flame. Nah, strike. Let's get rid of a little bit of that plated armor, which is kind of nice. turn. Not, not doing the math. That's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Do we want an armaments? That seems pretty good. We've got a lot of unupgraded things. We like block cards. I feel like resting here is kind of what we want to do. I, I, just, I just want some extra health against the collector. These are both okay, but I'm feeling... Feeling like we let's upgrade this double tap. Um, let's play a rage plus and a metallicize and a sword boomerang. Play a closed line on this one, since we'll probably uh, kill the other one faster. Bring the same health, whatever. Maybe we wanted to close line the boss. I think taking a little bit less damage there is okay. So, some choices. Um, we can play Demon Form. It'll probably be the last time we get, last chance we get for a while. Eh, these guys are, we've worn them down a little bit already. I think it's okay to not play Immolate here and kill the other one. I think, I think we can leave it a little, a little bit alive, a little bit longer so that we make sure that we get our scaling online here. That's really important. Turnip helping out a lot again, although we may still die this turn. We do not die, <clears throat> which is nice. Um, so we get to play our next two cards twice. Seems great to play a couple of heavy blades and a couple of sword boomerangs. I think I like that better than close line there. Maybe that means we lose this turn though. Um,
Let's drink our gambling potion. And just hope to draw into an emily. Nope. But a rage plus some attacks is nice too. That gets us uh, a lot of block. Um, we can kill one of these guys, presumably. Yeah. Now we still die. Alas, well... No, we don't. I forgot about all of our passive blocking that we've worked so hard to get. Uh, except that he keeps just hitting us for so much damage. Um, can we just kill him? We've drawn enough damage to just kill him? Yes. Almost exactly. Great. That's the collector down. Tough fight. Uh, here I really like Impervious. Offering is strong too. Feels like we really could use another block card, and Impervious is a very strong one. Uh, Fusion Hammer is good, Philosopher's Stone is good, I don't think Block Star right here is very good. I'm okay with enemies having one strength. We've got so much about ourselves, although giving the heart an extra strength hurts a lot. I don't know how much we need to upgrade our cards more with our armaments in this deck and like half our cards upgraded anyway. We're going to be resting a lot at campsites, so I think we take the fusion hammer. Seems strong. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, I'm going to take a break and... Uh, record the last half of this, um, X3 and 4, hopefully 4 if we make it there, um, and try and keep the video size down. So thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.